This is David. Today we're going to talk about replication options in Azure Storage Account. Now with an Azure Storage Account you have the option to set what kind of redundancy you want your account to have. And the options are locally redundant, geo redundant, read access geo redundant, and zone redundant. Let's go into detail to each one of these, what each one of these does. Now when you write any data to an Azure storage account, automatically three copies of that data are written. And this is for fault tolerance. So only one of those copies is live. Only one is actually being read from by users. The other ones are kept in sync. So in case that one copy somehow gets corrupted or is unavailable for whatever reason, then one of these other copies will be promoted and become the live copy of your data and will be transparent to your users. This is an atomic operation, which means that the user doesn't get back any success response until all three copies are successfully written to disk. Uh, now these three copies, they're all in the same region, they're in the same data center, um, but they're in different zones, they're in different fault zones. A fault zone is a part of the data center that doesn't share any uh, common hardware, something that could fail. So they wouldn't have be attached to the same power supply, for example. Um, so in case that hardware fails, it'll only take down one copy of the data. They're also in different update domains, and update domains are simply logical groupings that the Azure infrastructure maintains so that when hardware needs to get upgraded, um, and which sometimes requires a reboot, then you won't be updating two of those at the same time. So that's locally redundant, and that's the cheapest option. The next option is geo redundant, and geo redundant also gives us those three copies of the data within our region, and those are all atomic, but also asynchronously it will write three more copies of the data and it will write them in a completely different region and that way if there is some sort of disaster you know Godzilla steps out of the Lake Michigan and crushes the data center in Chicago um, we still have copies of our data that's available somewhere else and we can promote one of those copies and make it the live copy read access geo redundant is just like Geo redundant, three copies of the data are the primary region, three copies of the secondary region. But what's different about this is that one of those copies in the secondary region is readable. So this makes our reads a lot faster. We want to actually make use of that. They're in sync, then we can read things twice as fast for our users by making two copies of the data available for reading. Now, if we look, remember back on locally redundant, three copies of our data were written into the primary region. There's sort of a, a variation on that called zone redundant. And with zone redundant, we still get three copies of our data written to the, to the same region. However, most regions have multiple data centers. So one of those copies may be written to a secondary data center, which can be hundreds of miles away from the first data center. And this allows us to separate a, uh, the, the, these copies of the data so that, again, in case of natural disaster, if some hurricane or something wipes out one of the data centers, we're not putting all of our data right there. These are kept in sync, and we could promote something from the other data center. So those are the options that are available for redundancy in an Azure storage account. If you want to set the replication option, you've got a couple of places that you can do that. One is when you create an Azure Storage account, which is um, here, Storage Account. You notice that we have right down here the replication option. And this drop down here allows us to set whatever storage account replication property we want to on here. And that's option number one. That's very simple. You set it as you set all these other things here. The other option is that if I go to an existing Azure storage account, I just created this one a few minutes ago, you'll notice that on the overview tab it lists replication right here. I selected read access, geo redundant storage. I happen to pick that one, but it's 
it's not editable. So it looks like we can't change it after the fact because this field is read only, but that's actually not correct. It's read only on this tab, but if we go down to the configuration blade here, you'll see that replication is an option there and we could change it to something else here. So you can change it after the fact, uh, after you've already created an Azure storage account. So in this video, we've learned about replication and Azure storage account, what the different option means, and how to set that replication option in Azure. This is David. Thank you for watching.